Today I wanted to show you how to add videos to your website in Wix. This is in the Wix Classic Editor. Um, if you're Once you're in the editor, you want to go to the page that you want to add a video to. Um, and you can actually add videos throughout the site. So I'll show you a couple tips, um, for example, on the home page. If you wanted to change this strip background here, so each of these blocks is basically a strip, and I can click on it. When I click on it once, you should see change strip background. Click on that and you'll see here you can actually change the image by choosing image or change it to a video by choosing video. Let's go ahead and go to video and get into the video area here. So uh, Wix of course has a whole bunch of videos for free that you can use so you're welcome of course to use these but I'm sure you, that's not what we're going to do in this in your case but um, I'm going to just gent drop this in here just to show you how that works. It's as easy as that. Now you won't see the video animate in the editor unless you go to preview. If you do go into preview it should start animating and well it should. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Oh you can play it here. You can see it on the live site too. I don't want to save this to the live site but Basically, that's as easy as that to put in a video. Now, this puts a video into the background and is not, there's no sound to it. It just auto plays and just loops. Um, so if you want to change the settings of that, you can come in here. You can choose how the video is positioned. If, if the important part of the video is in the upper left or upper right, you can show it from the top down or the, the corner over and down. Um, and you can also change this play speed, make it a lot slower. Of course, that is not always going to look great depending on the quality of the video. Um, and you can also turn off the play loop if you only want it to play once. A few other cool features, you can change the opacity. So if you want to really pop this text forward, you can fade it back to a black. You can also choose the different colors that you have behind this video um, by just choosing a color and then editing it here. So that's a pretty cool feature as well. I'm going to close this and another great thing about Wix is you can always undo things if you don't like what you did. So I don't want this video because this isn't an actual video for this page. So if I hit undo enough times I should get back to that other picture. Oh I made a whole bunch of color adjustments so it's taking a little while. There we go. So now it's back at an image. If you want to change the image, you just click here and you can choose the image here. You can also adjust the settings of this as well. So if you wanted to fade these back a little bit to pop that text forward, uh, this is an easy way to do that. And again, you can change the coloring as well here. But I think we liked them bright, so we'll leave them at that. We also have um, the ability down here to show it again from the top down or the bottom up. If you if there's a dry way here, you're trying to eliminate it, you can show it from the top down. Um, this picture is pretty wide, so it's going to show it anyway. Uh, you can also actually edit the Im image itself. If you click here on Change Strip Background, and you click on this little edit, uh, looks like a series of settings in a circle. If you click here, it opens up your Photo Studio, and then you could crop it in here. So if you really don't like or you don't want that address in there, for example, you could crop it out so it's not even going to show at all. Uh, and then when I hit save, this actually saves a new version of that image to the site. So I have the original version as well as this new version. I'm not going to do that in this case, but that's an option. Now going down here, there are also other strips that have blocks in them. So if you want to put a picture or a video into one of these blocks, you click on it until you get just this particular column in the strip selected and choose change column background. Same thing, you can choose any video and just drop it into that box. Uh, and then you can play it here, you can adjust the settings, and if you don't like it, you can undo it. Going to one of your project pages, which is more likely where you might be adding picture or videos over time, you can come in here and you can put the video into a strip, just like we did on the home page. You just click on this strip and click on change strip background, choose video, and then you can upload it here, or of course you can choose any that are in your site files or free. Um, you guys are probably going to be uploading them. So 
you would just come in here, click on upload media, and you can upload that video. Now, you only have a certain amount of space, five gigabytes with your plan, and video does take up a lot of space. So one good uh, piece of advice I give most clients is if you're starting to run out of space because you're using video, another option for choosing the video is to uh, have a, what do you call it, a YouTube video. <laughs> so um, coming in here, I believe, maybe you can't use a YouTube video in these backgrounds. That actually may, yeah, that may be true. You can't use YouTube. So these background ones would have to be when you upload. But you can put Wix or YouTube video or Vimeo video into these galleries down below. So if you come here to add media and go to video, you can choose YouTube or Vimeo. So you could upload those videos as many as you want to YouTube and Vimeo. They pretty much have free um, storage at this time anyway that could change down the road um, and then you can just paste the link of that video once it's uploaded to your channel here another good reason to have it on YouTube is that people might find you that way as well so it's in and on that video itself you can link to your website and paste your URL to your website that link um, and that way people if they see that video want to see more of your work they can click on it and get some to your website so it's kind of a good advertising SEO element to include and then you can embed those videos here of course you can also upload your own as long as they're within your size limit of your hosting plan you can always upgrade but it gets pretty spendy as you get into the higher storage plans um, so those are the two ways to add video to the site uh, or the three different ways there's a few different ways or spots that you can use. You can put them into the strip, which this has to be uploaded. It can't be a, a YouTube video from what I can see, but in these um, galleries, you can put video in here. Now, if you want to add a video maybe above this, there's another option where we can simply add a video element to the page. So if I come over here and go to video, I can go to video upload. I could actually just choose YouTube or Vimeo. It doesn't matter though, you can use this one. If I click here, this is gonna put that single player um, option here on the page. I can also upload again, or I can change it to YouTube or Vimeo or even Facebook and other platforms. Uh, and you can also adjust the plays and the looping here. You can't change the opacity of these videos, uh, but you can, if you put a video in the background, that gives you that option for fading it back and all those other things. But something to keep in mind is that these do not have sound and you cannot have sound on these. So if you want a, a video with sound, I would put it into somewhere on the page. We can also build a new page for it or even a pop-up light box and put the video in that um, if you want. But this is one way to put it in here. Also, if you come over here to video, you can choose Wix video options and these have things like a full strip video, which is pretty cool. So I just dropped that in here and you'll see here's the um, Wix video. And this is a whole nother platform. Um, and you can actually upload your YouTube videos to this. Um, so you can click here on upload or you can choose these options or paste your YouTube or other third party video hosting providers here. Um, so what's cool about Wix video is you can use both um, your own and if, again if you run out of space you have 15 gigabytes max it looks like um, then you need to either use YouTube or Vimeo or upgrade your Wix hosting plan. Um, and then that's just a matter of once you have those videos uploaded you'll just select them here they'll be available here for you to use and it'll drop it into this Wix video strip. If I click here on settings, I can also come here to choose the videos. There's also some options like if I wanted to just show a single video, which is usually the case, and then you choose the video you've uploaded. Um, you can also change different layouts. This is the strip layout, but if you wanted to have multiple videos, you could do a grid, you could do a classic where it has thumbnails below. So there's lots of options. I find this one's the neatest, cleanest looking one, um, and you just put it in here. Few other things you can display things like you don't want to display the title. If you just want to have, if you don't want to have um, the share icon or the info icon, you can turn those sort of sorts of things off in the search. Um, 
And I think you can also, you know, just play around with different things of what you show here. Here's some of those other things. So anyway, you're welcome to play around with this option if you want. Um, I'm going to take it off of here for now since we don't need it. Um, that's going to delete Wix video. That doesn't really mean anything. Um, I'm just not using it anywhere on the site. If you want to add it again, come over to the plus, come to video, and then go scroll down till you see Wix video, which is also here and choose the strip one. And then there's other ones too. So, and you can always change it and play around with them once you have them dropped in the page. So nothing set in stone. Um, and let me know if you want me to add them anywhere or to all the different product sites. Uh, I'm going to delete this guy out of here too. And as you can see, I made room there uh, to, to add a video there. If you add a strip video, it just automatically puts it on the bottom of the, your page. And then you can move things around in Wix. Um, but I, I won't get too into depth on that. If you need some help with any of that, let me know. Um, you can also put your videos right in here into this uh, media gallery. It's a pro, Wix Pro Gallery. Uh, so lots of options for adding video to your site. I just wanted to sh review all of them with you. Uh, let me know if you want to do a call in person over Zoom and we can review this in more detail and maybe even add videos if you have some available. Happy Wixen!